we knew coming into this match, playing them three times last year, that they were going to be a tough team. We just made up in our minds that we were going to come out and fight. Georgia Tech's 15 in the country for a reason. And they showed it today by the way they competed, how competitive the match is. Certainly, we weren't at 100%, but with that being said, I give Georgia Tech a lot of credit. They have an amazingly competitive team that came out, fired up, ready to play, and I thought played a really good match and pushed us extremely hard throughout the lineup, starting with doubles. So, you know, they're 15 in the country, and they deserve to be 15 in the country. That was our first time playing. I mean, literally after the warm up, coach told us that Jordan and I were going to be playing. So we have a good relationship off the court. So I mean, we kind of just used that, and that turned over to on the court. We, we kind of just used each other's energy. When he was down, I picked him up, and at times when I couldn't make a return, he was there to make a return and give me an opportunity to keep going. fed off the crowd the whole time. I mean, and the band was out, everyone was like, the crowds were, the stand was full, so we just used their energy and we were able to pull through it somehow. Georgia Tech's a good team. They have a tough one player, and they're pretty strong all the way down the line. So it, it was not just, it was not an easy task. And this is what makes it special, is how competitive our guys are and how they seem to just always find a way. With the situations and the adversity we've had to face, I couldn't be more pleased with the way the guys responded. Now, the success they've had doesn't just happen. What happens is they've been working and working and working, practice after practice, year after year, waiting for an opportunity. And when the opportunity came that they were ready, and to me that's a sign that they're not just going to be successful in tennis, that they're going to be successful in life because they're going to work, and when opportunities come their way, they're going to be ready. And that's what it's all about, and that's why I'm so proud of them. They learned that life lesson. One of the things Julian's worked on is composing himself and, and handling tough situations better, and I don't know how much better you do than that. You know, I mean, his double skills are at a pretty darn high level. Uh, he moves well, he anticipates well, he's got good hands, he's got good feel for the game, and he showed it today, and most importantly, he showed it today under tough pressure when the doubles point was on the line, and that point was pretty important. I'm just really proud of the way Julian and Jameer compose themselves, and of course, Jameer battling back in that tiebreaker to, to, to finish.
the key is just to stick with it, deal with the ups and downs, just kind of stay in there with it. I mean, it's either try hard or go home. The guy, he, uh, he, he wouldn't go away, I mean, those yellow jackets, but uh, yeah, he started playing well, he, he picked it up, and uh, I kind of stayed the same, and, and in the tiebreak, I was able to get it back and come up with a, a couple of big shots to pull through. This guy had the, the match on his racket the last two times out, out there for the team, struggling, battling, not feeling very well. He's starting to recover, but it's harder to play. So he's playing at 30, 40%, but his heart's bigger than, you know, all of Charlottesville. And to see him have success today was extremely gratifying for me. And I'm so proud of Shabazz uh, as well. These have been two great leaders for me, and I'm just happy for them. They deserve the success they had today. But my heart goes out to them. Their last day playing a regular season match after four grueling years, and now they have so much to look forward to in the postseason. But it's very emotional for me to see them succeed. I'm really happy for them.